Hi, this is Mark from Redline Detection, world's leader in leak detection technology made right here in the USA. So when you get a customer's car in, you scan it, find out it has a leak, normally large and small, and EVAP fault codes all, all appearing, where do you start? A lot of times people just go for the uh, smoke machine hook it up and, and try to seek out a leak that may not actually be there. Uh, a lot of times customer leaves his gas cap loose so by the time you get the car he's maybe refilled the car and tightened the cap back up and now you're chasing your tail. So our tech tip is verifying that concern. So we're not going to use smoke we're actually going to use the air pressure of the machine to find and to verify you have that leak. Use it, utilizing your flow meter and more importantly your leak down gauge. So where do I want to hook my smoke machine? How do I want to integrate it into the EVAP system? Mainly older cars have your EVAP service port and then you can go directly into the EVAP service port and test it that way. That, that way you're not interfering with any possible leak point. You're not touching the fuel cap, you're not, you're not uh, uh, opening anything up that's supposedly supposed to be sealed. Uh, other vehicles unfortunately don't have that, most modern cars don't have that EVAP service port anymore. So where do you go? Well, my first thought is you want to not disturb the fuel cap for the simple fact is that may be your leak point because most commonly it's a damaged fuel cap uh, and over time that that seal may have worn there's internal seals on that fuel cap inside that fuel cap that are supposed to make a seal that may be damaged and you can't see it so I want to keep the fuel cap on the vehicle on the filler neck and test another way uh, being a technician, being around for a long time, you have little parts and pieces in your toolbox where you can tap into uh, the EVAP system right in between the line coming from the fuel tank or the uh, actually the canister to the purge valve. That's where I like to tap in right between that if I don't have that service port to tap into and tap in uh, integrate my smoke machine into that point and do a pressure leak down test from there. The very first thing you need to do is to locate your purge valve. Uh, luckily this one's right on top of the engine so it makes it uh, really simple. Uh, other, other times it's not not so easy and you have to dig for it a little bit. So basically the line coming from the charcoal canister up to the purge valve is is the line we're going to tap into. I made a little adapter uh, to integrate the smoke machine into the system so I still have a seal. Hook the smoke hose up to it and we are ready to test. We're not going to hook up the power. We don't have to to the machine. We're only going to use shop air to pressurize the system. So the next step is you have to get your scan tool out and the vent valve has to be closed. Remember the vent valve is normally open it stays open until it does its self test so the self test on the vehicle it closes to make a seal. So to have a sealed system right now you have to take your scan tool and initiate that valve closed. You're going to see that ball starting to creep down ever so slowly. Now what you're going to find is, you know, you need to see where that ball goes. But really what you, you're uh, hoping to achieve is that ball is going to go, if you have a sealed system obviously, it's going to go all the way to the bottom and rest on the bottom. And then you're going to look at your gauge and you're going to see 
between 11 and 15 inches of water column pressurization. That's why you, it's critical that you have that leak down gauge. And that's where you go to the leak down gauge and you have the ball at the bottom, you turn the flow off, now you have a sealed system, now you're watching for decay. You're you focused on that gauge. Uh, what the manufacturers tell us is when, they, when their test procedures is this is a two minute leak down test. So you watch that gauge for degrade over the next two minutes. If you don't have degrade, you don't have a leak. You're verifying that code came up some other way. How did it come up? Did the customer leave his gas cap loose? Did, do you have an intermittent fault on the vent valve or the purge valve? You need to go another direction. Perhaps test, uh, open and close the vent valve several times, repeat this test, or open and close the purge valve several times to see if it's sticky. So you need to test those valves for opening, closing problems. Maybe they're old, they're not getting a seal anymore. It's just as simple as that. I used my smoke machine, not using the visible vapor to verify I had an actual uh, concern on the, on the EVAP system, whether it be that small leak or the large leak. With using the flow meter, using the gauge, the leak down gauge, I determine I actually have a leak or don't have that leak. Now I could, I have to proceed to my next step, uh, actually trying to find that leak or uh, using my trouble tree from the manufacturer to determine what my next steps are. Thank you for tuning in for this week's uh, tech tips. Don't hesitate to call us at any time at, here at Redline Detection. We're here to help you. Uh, we have master technicians on staff. Uh, whatever your questions are, we're happy to help. Thank you.